principles of tooth preparation in this video we'll study about the purpose of tooth preparation and some terminologies of tooth preparation a cavity is a defect in the mineralized dental tissues which results from pathological processes like caries attrition abrasion and erosion so a cavity does not necessarily mean that it's because of caries the tooth can be caries free but still have a cavity because of attrition abrasion etc whenever a patient comes to you with a cavity we need to do something called tooth preparation it's like preparing the tooth to receive a restorative material so a tooth preparation is a surgical procedure that removes the caries till the sound tooth tissue of proper shape is reached which will retain a restorative material so our aim is not only the removal of caries but also giving a proper shape to the tooth so that when we insert a restorative material it should retain there and resist the masticatory forces so why do we need to do tooth preparation the first one as already mentioned is caries so caries if not removed will eventually involve the pulp and will lead to complications like pulpitis and subsequent sequel the second one is replacing the restoration If a patient comes to you with pain in the tooth already restored, you can suspect secondary caries and in that case you need to replace the restoration. Other reasons for replacing the restoration could be a fracture restoration or just because of the patient demand. The third one is the treatment of malformed, fractured and traumatized teeth. The fourth one is for aesthetic improvement, for example discolored teeth. The fifth one is for restoration of loss of tooth material in cases of attrition abrasion erosion now we'll talk about some basic terminologies of tooth preparation a tooth preparation could be a simple tooth preparation a compound tooth preparation or a complex tooth preparation a simple tooth preparation is a tooth preparation involving only one tooth surface for example mesial distal occlusal buccal a compound tooth preparation involves two surfaces for example mesial lingual distal buccal a complex tooth preparation is the one which involves more than three surfaces for example mesio occluso distal abbreviated as mod the next is the tooth preparation wall a wall is any surface of tooth preparation So in a very childish statement it's like you are making a house or a box within the tooth so it will obviously have walls so it can be internal wall external wall enamel wall dentine wall an internal wall is a wall in the preparation which does not extend to the external tooth surface an external wall is a wall in the prepared tooth that extends to the external tooth surface then enamel wall is a wall which is composed of enamel and dentine wall is a portion of tooth that is composed of dentine the pulpal wall is an internal wall that is towards the pulp and covering the pulp it may be both vertical and perpendicular to the long axis of the tooth the axial wall is an internal wall which is parallel to the long axis of the tooth step is an auxiliary extension of the main tooth preparation on an adjoining surface for example consider class 3 cavity a class 3 cavity is the one which involves the proximal surface of the anterior tooth without involving the incisal edge so in class 3 tooth preparation with a lingual dovetail is called as a lingual step floor floor is a prepared wall which is usually flat and perpendicular to the occlusal forces directed occluso gingivally for example pulpal and the gingival walls cavo surface angle margin a cavo surface angle is formed by the junction of a prepared tooth surface wall and external surface of the tooth the acute junction is called as the cavo surface margin This is the cavo surface angle and it differs accordingly to the types of the restorative material to be used example for amalgam the cavo surface angle is 90 degree that is called the butt joint 
So in the next video, we'll study about the line angles and the point angles and the steps involved in the truth preparation. Thanks for watching.